Yeah, There is no gain dwelling too much on this incident that has happened. I am here because the president is deeply concerned. He was deeply touched by what happened. As the de late delegate rightly said, let's not talk about the numbers. One life lost in cold blood is as gruesome as millions lost in a pogrom. The heart of the president, he was with the bereaved families. We were at the hospital to sympathize with the victims. And we rest assured that the federal government stands by the community affected and the government and people of Kaduna State on this unfortunate incident. It's already directed by Mr. President, an investigation is being conducted with a view to preventing a occurrence of the incident, and we expect a report to be submitted within the shortest possible time. I want to register our profound gratitude to our religious leaders, to our community leaders who have served a stabilizing process in these trying moments. Efforts were made to politicize, to implant passion. But our leaders choose to err on the path of decency, on the path of moderation, on the path of maturity. And I cannot but thank them most profoundly. Incidentally, among them are two of my friends, Dr. Imam Tukur, of Al Manar TV and Sheikh Al Misri. They are my very good friends, and I want to thank all of you. Most importantly, the President approved the commencement of the Pulaku Initiative by next month. The Pulaku Initiative is the president's unique response as a non-kinetic solution to the challenges in the Northwest. Beneficiary states are Sokoto, Kebbi, Zampara, 
كسنا كدونا and for the purpose of equity and justice we deliberately included Niger and Benue state actually our intent was to kick off the program in Sokoto but in the light of recent developments the president directed that the Polaku initiative should be kick-started here in Kaduna State. <laughs> and Tudumbiri will be the first beneficiary of that scheme. We are going to build houses, which will complement the efforts of the Right Honorable Speaker, but ours is a complete package as well, including houses, clinics, schools, veterinary clinics, empowerment initiatives, solar energy. It's a complete package of solutions. It's a non-kinetic response to the problems of banditry and kidnapping in the Northwest. I can assure you that the President meant well for the North. The President meant well for the nation. And I'm quite glad I want to commend the Governor of Kaduna State. What binds us together as a people supersedes whatever that divides us. By bringing under this canopy the leadership of the Muslim Ummah, the leadership of our Christian brethren, it's a testimony that leadership is crucial to the unity and progress of every nation. And this our trying moment, it brought together the two heads. Usman Dampodio said, a society can thrive on unbelief, but no society can thrive on injustice. Justice, equity, and fairness are the cornerstone of leadership. And the governor has embraced the path of moderation, the path of dialogue, and the path of inclusivity. In this our tragic moment, it also calls for celebration, to celebrate the governor who has shown me this. I'm happy uh, we went to the hospital together with them. They have seen the condition of the victims of the unfortunate uh, incident that happened in Tudumbiri, uh, in Apaka uh, Ward, the local government. But I'm very happy with uh, the government, uh, federal government response to my call for immediate probe and, in, and investigation into the incident. Uh, today, uh, Mr. President have uh, responded positively uh, by insisting that uh, there will be uh, investigation and uh, they will make sure that uh, it's done as soon as possible and the result of the investigation will be made public uh, to Nigerians. That is number one. Number two, uh, Mr. President also under uh, the leadership of Vice President, uh, His Excellency Kashin Shetima, have also promised to pay compensation to the victims, those that have lost their lives, their families, and those that are in the hospitals. On our part, the Kanesta government will do everything to ensure that uh, we look after those in the hospitals, we provide medical uh, care for them, we pay for all their bills, and even those that have lost their parents, I mean, the orphans there who have children, the Kanesta government will also look at them and uh, cater for them, support them. But uh, the Vice President also announced today that uh, the program does a Pulapo, Pulapo pre, uh, program under his office. Uh, Mr. President have also directed that uh, it should start in Kaduna and in this very community. That's uh, uh, the community that have been affected by this uh, unfortunate incident that is student Billy. Uh, because of the fact that uh, they have lost virtually everything. So they are going to build uh, their houses, rebuild their houses, also provide hospital for them, uh, also ensure that uh, they provide uh, farming uh, facilities for them, also build schools for them. They are creating an, a city for them right now. And I think it's a very welcome development. I want to thank Mr. President, thank Mr. Vice President for their, for their response. And I'm also happy that uh, the leaders, particularly our religious leaders and community leaders, have uh, uh, 
cooperated with the, with the government of Corona State so far, and uh, everyone is happy, the community are calm, and I want to assure the people of Corona State, we have a very listening president and the vice president, and I have no doubt in my mind, the compensation will be paid, the houses will be rebuilt, and uh, we will also make sure that everything that the Corona State government needs to do to ensure that similar things don't happen, we'll do our best to ensure that we cooperate with the federal government and on our part also do our best. You know, the meeting we just had with the Vice President is just to emphasize and also assure the people of Corona State that the federal government is with us and they are willing to pay compensation, they are willing to rebuild the houses and they are willing to look after the families of those that lost their lives. And even those in the hospital, they work with us closely and we will ensure that no one is left behind.